So we are back with another Howl Divers 2 video and this one's pretty big. We have some incredible leaks and data mines to discuss. We have Super Earth gameplay, actual Terminid acid chargers and much, much more. Let's go. Now the winner of yesterday's super credit giveaway is seen on screen now. If this is you, hit me up on my Discord to claim your winnings. Now, do you guys want to win 2100 super credits or a copy of How Divers 2? It's as simple as this. Liberate this video with a massive thumbs up. Let's try and reach 45 likes. Make sure you are subbed with those post notifications turned on so you are notified of my video uploads and leave a comment down below. I will pick a winner from that comment section and announce them on tomorrow's video. So good luck, everybody. So let's go guys and we'll start with Super Earth. Now over the past few weeks or so we have seen many many leaks in regards to Super Earth from the Super Earth map appearing amongst all other maps. We saw textures in regards to bushes and surroundings that would appear on said map. We have seen in-game adverts in regards to people being killed and more. And only yesterday I covered a data mine which showcased uh, Super Earth props and further items found on Super Earth when it will eventually come to the game. We also see the CEO even now talking about Super Earth. It's almost like they're pushing it, slowly pushing it. He tweeted out, pop quiz to all Helldivers 2 out there. What do the seven stars represent in the Super Earth flag? I have no idea what this is, but surely one of you guys know, so let us know down below. But they are pushing Super Earth. But people, it gets way deeper than this because as I'm just searching through the internet for new things to cover, I come across a post on Reddit by Bucky Resolution 4930, so credit to this dude. Post labeled, dropped into a terminated mission on Super Earth, a placeholder map. And we actually see gameplay of this guys and you're seeing that on screen. Now again, credit to this one goes to Bucky Resolution 4930. What is this? All I know is, guys, that this looks incredible. It really, the surrounding area looks clean. It looks vibrant. That sky looks homely like nothing we've seen. So, yeah, Super Earth is definitely coming. Now, what I do notice about this gameplay is only like 20 odd seconds of it is the lack of buildings, the lack of anything that you associate with Super Earth. It's definitely just seeming to me like another planet. If it's just 99% wilderness, we may see buildings in the background that we can't visit. This would be enough for me, I'm not gonna lie. I fully expect a suburban war with the bots here. I don't expect us to be able to run in between buildings or even in buildings, as long as we can see them there in the background, just to give it that super earth feeling, that would be enough for me. But you don't get that from this gameplay, I won't lie, two years. But again, either or guys, it's only believed to be a placeholder map. How we got into here, I have absolutely no idea, but it's pretty cool. And we know for an absolute fact now that Super Earth will eventually come, guys. It will be a, a planet we have to defend, take back, liberate. You know, guys, what we got to do as a Hell Diver. So yeah, pretty cool, guys. And again, credit to Bucky Resolution 4930 for this gameplay. I'll link the Reddit post down below. Okay, so yesterday I spoke about debt and mind files on the enemy of an acid charger. Sounds absolutely horrifying. It really does. But today, guys, we actually have in-game, in, well, in-game rendered images of what these will look like. And this is thanks to Forerunner Law. Uh, again, over on Redis, you're seeing these on screen now. These are the Terminid Charger Acids. That's a name. That's a label they have. These morphos are going to spit and shit acid all over you. Absolutely. I mean, charges are terrifying enough, guys. I mean, especially when it's 1v1 and you ain't got your team helping you. Taking one out, I mean, it ain't the hardest thing in the world. But when you see one running at you and you've got little space to jump out of the way, it can be quite terrifying. But when you got one running at you that's spewing acid all over you, or however these disperse acid, we don't know yet, it's going to be even more terrifying. But I cannot wait to see them in-game. Now, we know about the acid planets, the acid weather, acid rain. And now we have acid themed enemies, acid chargers, absolutely crazy guys. But yeah, pretty cool to see them. Although they don't look too dissimilar to a normal charger, it's good to get an idea of what these will actually look like. Kind of slightly a lighter color on their underbelly being yellow. And I think maybe when you probably, these may not even spit acid at you. They may not even shit acid on you. Maybe when you kill them, they explode and leave an acid pool on the floor. Something along that nature makes sense too. But who knows guys, who knows? Let me know down below okay so we're going to move on 
from bugs and onto a new automaton gunship that has been found again by four runner law now this one looks absolutely incredible red and black themed i mean i don't know if this is already in the game i don't think it is it's not the i've ever seen um it looks similar to the drop ships or gunships we do kind of see uh, but i don't think i've noticed one that's red and black but hey this looks super super cool that's for sure if we look at the back of this thing it definitely has well actually on the front as well when we look at that image you can see those like missile racks there but i'm not seeing any machine guns of that nature on this i mean again this is no doubt could not be a fully rendered model that has been textured to look this color or look this way it could be missing certain points on it we just do not know but either or guys it does look very very cool a lot of people are saying it looks like the uh how divers one exfil ship let's get an image of that up on screen now i mean i can see the similarities here but it's definitely not this that is for sure guys but yeah pretty cool this automaton gunship i have no doubt you will eventually see this in game maybe on super earth who knows people so we have another piece of equipment found, well, another model found in the files. This is by Digital Hazard over on How Divers Are Leaks. And what this is believed to be, guys, it's farm equipment, no doubt about that. We can see that straight away. This is believed to be another prop we may see on Super Earth. Now, yesterday we covered plenty of these Super Earth props, but this isn't something I can associate with anything I'm seeing on this list. Well, it does for sure scream to me that this is going to be something associated with something we do see on Super Earth when it does eventually come. So, yes, pretty cool, guys. Okay, so lastly, we have something that was sent to me by Iron Sights himself, the legendary data miner, and also the dude who fully textures some of these in-game data my models we do see. He sent me this right here, which is actually labeled uh, our mission objective, Orbital cannon now what's pretty crazy about this is standing next to this thing as you can see is a bio titan now bio titans in game compared to the player itself are absolutely massive now look at the size of this thing to a bio titan yes that is a bio titan standing next to it what is going on here and again it's the part of some new mission objective called orbital cannon now we don't know this could be attached to a dome on the floor it could be attached to a tank it could be attached to a ship we've seen some pretty big ships within the files we have no idea but this thing is absolutely monstrous now it could be something we actually work towards ourselves and you guys like i said it's a mission objective here orbital cannon so maybe we get this thing working on our behalf to take down something even bigger than a bio titan that we're trying to fight or liberate this planet against we have no idea it's all speculation right now but this thing's absolutely massive and again thanks to iron sites for sharing this thing with me before we actually put it on reddit or anywhere else now if you do want to follow iron sites i'll link his twitter down below within the video description he just post quite a few leaks to his twitter too so yeah check him out and show him some love but there we have it guys for another how divers 2 uh, video if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out remember liberate this video with a massive thumbs up it really helps me out and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one